Hey everybody, I'm really honored to get to bring to you two of my really good friends, Ashley and Elton, and they happen to own and operate Trail by the Pizza, which is phenomenal. If you've not checked it out, it's like you're missing out. Even if you're in town, drive up here, you get to see how gorgeous the mountain is. It's just wonderful. And we're just going to talk to them a little bit and let them tell you a little bit about the business, and we'll get started with Ashley. Ashley, when did Trail, tell us a little history of Trail Rider. Uh, so we had the opportunity to manage it for a year, 2006. Uh, we officially bought it 2007, January 1st. Um, we were in a small trailer down next to Molly's Bar for 12 and a half years. We made our dues in the community and we grew strong, strong roots down there. Um, we outgrew the trailer and uh, decided it was time to move on to bigger and better things. So we took on this spot up here and with the help of the community support and um, really rallied around us to help us build the new spot, um, opened this, this big beautiful dining room, um, expanded our menu, and just filled everything with love. So we've just celebrated 16 years as owners. Whoo! 16 years. So I, I did neglect to mention that when you come in here, there are special surprises. I'm not going to tell you what they are because you have to come in to see. But you're greeted so uniquely every time. And it's kind of like, I don't know if any of you ever watched Cheers, but that's how you feel when you come in here. You're like a superstar and they're happy to see you. So Elton, um, your beautiful wife just mentioned that the community is really helpful in helping you build this beautiful place. What, what is she talking about? Um, they actually jumped in and got their hands dirty and helped us paint the inside of the building. They helped us clean the walls and and uh, really just get everything ready to uh, expose it to the public. Yeah. Wow, why? Why would people do that? Um, they're just really supportive of, I think, me and Ashley and our dreams to, to build bigger, better things and host more people in the community and things like that. Yeah. Very cool. So you have a little bit of a presence in just a little. Just a little. Yeah, just a little. Yeah. So, 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 tell me about that. I, I, I've heard a thing or two about your son. Um. So, Jaden, when we were in the old location, um, one day he was putting water bottles and brown paper bags all over a table, and I just kind of was like, "What are you doing?" Because I'm always getting onto it for wasting product. Um, but he actually was making bags for homeless people. And whenever he told me that, I stopped what I was doing, went over and started helping him. I'm like, wow, you know, and just an amazing thing for, a, you know, what was he at the time, nine years old, for a nine year old to um, say and do. Um, and so the community got a hold of that information and spread it like wildfire. Um, he was on the news, he was, uh, got recognized at the state capitol. Um, Still to this day, we haven't been dropping off donations, socks, um, hand warmers, things like that, um, to put in bags that he gives away to homeless people. So, wow. Yeah. Okay, so what do you need? you got an audience here. What do you need dropped off the turn by the pizza? Um, just anything like so socks. 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 People love socks. Brand new pair of socks. You love socks. I love socks. <laughs> um, so do people that are homeless. They don't get to wash their socks. And, um, something like that can just really change a person's life. Just a brand new pair of socks. Right on. Yeah. Right so on. Yeah. Um, anything, anything is welcomed except you know used items. Um, we don't want a big pile of stuff, but. Um, Little things like toothbrushes and um, things that help people get back on their feet, you know, like uh, I don't know, deodorant, that's a good one. Um, things that people don't have, so. so toiletries, toiletries and socks, please bring them, bring socks. them, drop them off, and, and it'll matter, you know, put your socks on. So, here we go. Tell me about the, the tell me about your menu. It is I, I'm a fan. Like like I need to disclose I'm a major, major fan because I'm a vegan and that is a very difficult person to be when you're trying to go out to eat. But not here. Why? We want to make sure that everybody in the group can be involved. Everybody can sit down and enjoy a meal together. So vegan, gluten free, um, carnivorous, the picky picky kids. Um, there's something on the menu for everybody. We want to make sure everybody can sit together. Who's the creator of all these fun things? It's a collaborative effort. It's, uh, they got a lot of the recipes in the kitchen. We've got, uh, we've got two wonderful chefs in the kitchen. Okay. They're helping us to develop some new things. There's a new salad coming. There's some, a couple of 
couple of changes that are happening in the venue right now that are exciting to be dropping next week. Sweet. See, we got a little, little teaser there. Little teaser. We'll take them. All right. So, what else do you want someone to know about your business and why you do it? We feel like you can taste the love in the food. Um, if food is prepared with good vibes and positive intentions and the love is put in the food, you can taste it. Um, and that matters to us. We're not just putting out the pizza. Um, we're putting out something that we put our heart and our time into. And it matters to everybody on our staff. And we've got a beautiful staff that uh, shares those values. That is so amazing because so many people are starving for staff. Why do people want to be here? Why do they want to work with you guys? We're supportive in their dreams, as well as them being supportive in ours. Um, we don't want them to work here for 10 years. We want them to go back to school. We want them to further their life. And I think that's why they choose to stick around um, and really work hard and care about what they're doing in the kitchen and what they're doing up front. And, you know, put the love that we try to demand, I guess, but uh, they, they, they give it up. You know, just as uh, as as caring in, in the kitchen. So. Perfect. So, why are you so loving? Somebody looking in from the outside, and I know they really are. I know them, but somebody looking in from the outside going, "Oh, come on! All this love stuff, really?" I just I can't even turn on the news to see. I, we're bombarded with so much negativity every day that I feel like um, one of the mantras that I live by by Gandhi is be the change you want to see in the world. And I live by that mantra. I, I try to be that person that I'm supposed to be getting angry and showing resentment, but I try to keep calm and show love and kill them with kindness. You know, that's, that's what we try to do here. So. Um, the world is just so negative and there's just so much anger going on. Why add to that? Be the opposite of that. Be the change. There you go. A right. smile gets a smile. Hug that gets confuses hug. people. Smiles <laughs> confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun to confuse people. It really is because they really are stunned by it. But they're so desperate for it. So guys, if you need a hug, if you need a delicious meal, if you need gluten, Free yumminess. They have like desserts that are gluten free and excellent because I know gluten free sometimes is just kind of average. So I've got one more question because after a really wonderful meal like that, some of us might have a sweet tooth. What do you have for me? All of our desserts are made from scratch in house. Uh, we've got cinnamon rolls and cupcakes and cookies and brownies. Uh, we've got a peanut butter platinum bar that's amazing. It's a spin on the APS gold bar, but <laughs> yeah, there's rotating items in that dessert case. Just uh, pop in and pick up something sweet. Let us make your day a little sweeter. Okay, awesome. And last but not least, we always try when we do these interviews with businesses to have something special for the people who watch it and come in and say, hey, I saw your interview. Hook me up. What can you put on? I'd say come on in before the end of March and we'll hook you up with a free order of house-made garlic knots. Wow, right on. Garlic knots. Just mention this interview and you get the garlic knots. Even if you can't get here before March 31st, though, guys, come check this out. It's really a wonderful evening out. We uh, offer dine-in and takeout, and you can find us at 12165 Highway 14 North, Cedar Crest. Call 505-281-6068. That's how you get your pizza made great. <laughs> <laughs>